Oh, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the uh, 9th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can visit the Google Play and the Apple's App Store for the uh, app in order to gain access to them. Okay, now in terms of the uh, rundown, uh, let's just bring up the stats. The stats for Asian session, first of all, we had a mixed session. We've had the uh, Shanghai up 0.5%, Hang Seng up 0.2%, but the uh, Nikkei down 0.3%. Now, let's quickly bring up the actual in indices or indexes themselves. Nikkei daily uh, still holding that double top resistance. Okay, the Shanghai uh, daily chart starting to move higher after building a base now. Okay, so, uh, still there are ongoing liquidity concerns in China. But the market is certainly ignoring that also, obviously, with the situation with the South China Sea as well. Certainly has been ignored and the uh, rhetoric between the Trump and the, uh, obviously, Chinese administration, especially with regards to potential uh, trade barriers. Okay, now, in terms of the European markets this morning, in terms of economic data, nothing really important overnight. Uh, although we did have uh, German data, which was important this morning. We had imports stronger than expected, trade balance, obviously bullish. Uh, exports a whopping 3.9% increase very very impressive obviously the current count will certainly improve based on that industrial production as well coming in more or less in line okay nothing drastic there uh, retail sales from Sweden as well CHF retail sales certainly stronger than expected UK house price is stronger and the uh, the FTSE 100 obviously you're hitting those new highs based on the weaker sterling sterling being crushed today if I bring up a chart of sterling and give you an insight here on the back of Theresa May, uh, Sterling certainly uh, being obliterated. That's probably the best word to use here. Uh, just bear with me one second. I'm not sure why it's not saved from last time. So yes, uh, Sterling breaking below that 1.22 level. Okay, certainly has stabilised somewhat now. Um, let's just bring this up for you. Okay, so you can see here on the daily chart, we're into that key support zone. 60 minute chart, you can see the actual, uh, we see obliteration from 1.2260. It's certainly been hit hard and uh, has actually gone sub 1.22 down to 1.214 even the low. So very, very uh, impressive sell off on the uh, on Sterling. And that certainly has helped the uh, FTSE 100 obviously reach the new highs. Now, if I just take the FTSE 100 daily chart, you can see that we can consistently and continuously uh, move higher on the FTSE 100. Moving over to the 60 minute chart, you clearly see the breakout here, retesting the uh, the breakout zone. We've had a retest uh, of uh, the 7207 zone, okay? Certainly has held and now starting to move higher. Now we do have a potential topping tail here, so just bear in mind the 7240 level. I think the pivot high was 7239. So watch out for 7240 as being resistance. It'll be interesting to see how the market reacts at that juncture, okay? 10 minute chart on the FTSE. We still haven't closed the uh, gap or fully yet. But as you can see here, FTSE is certainly being bid on that potential breakout with 7040 being attacked. And it'll be interesting to see whether or not the FTSE can hold that resistance zone. Okay, so given the fact that the NASDAQ certainly broke out to new highs on Friday as well, one would have presumed the DAX to certainly move higher, and that hasn't been the case. DAX certainly has started to move south. Now, if I bring up the 10-minute chart, we certainly have bounced off this potential pivot low here. Okay, although we did actually make a new low. And it'll be interesting to see how the German DAX reacts when you get up to 11,560 again. So you can certainly see a flush right from 11,600. That 11,600 level, 11,610 level certainly has proven elusive on the German DAX. And I've explained why, because it's a uh, gap level on the daily chart. You can see gap fill here. Ever since that's been closed, the German DAX certainly has been struggling. Let's move on to the French CACs now. French CAC now, bearish engulfing day on the French CAC daily chart. 60 minute chart certainly has flushed, although we are now stabilizing here. There is this HS formation. It'll be interesting to see how the market reacts. Okay. 10 minute chart on the French CAC. So, from my understanding and my interpretation, any pop on the CAC really is a shorting opportunity, really, from my perspective. So, any pop up to, say, 4890, 4900 certainly will be a shorting opportunity from my perspective. Okay. If we move on to the uh, FTSE, we've uh, certainly observed already again. Any pop high up to 7230 plus will certainly be another shorting opportunity on the FTSE 100. Moving on to the Euro stocks now. Okay, Euro stocks again rejected that uh, 3330 zone. Ever since we've put in that potential topping tail, okay, ever since we put that topping tail, the Euro stock certainly has been lagging. So again, if we revisit this key resistance zone up here, 3320, 
Any pop here on the euro stocks again is another shorting opportunity. Okay, 10 minute chart on the euro stocks again, looking for, I'm currently long just to confirm my bias, okay. For my understanding, any pop up to say 3310 up to 3320 really is a shorting opportunity, especially given the fact that we're putting a new low now below 3296, okay. So again, these are all opportunities from my perspective, my trade setups, okay, looking to potentially short. Bear in mind, the NASDAQ has made a new high, so you have to respect that, okay. The, the uh, S&P 500 has been knocking at that 2278 door. If I bring up the S&P 500, if we crack that 2278 door, then the S&P will certainly take everything else with it as well. So again, take that into consideration when trading okay folks in the afternoon so i think that's a good summation uh, in terms of economic data out for the rest of the day for uh, mr rosengren speech again that'll be interesting labor market conditions and uh, fed lockout uh, and obviously that will be uh, related to the dollar index so it'll be interesting to see how that reacts given the fact that uh, china was certainly higher overnight markets certainly have been dead uh, to say the least okay there's more action in the fx markets so start trading fx that's what i'm going to do more often this week now because these equity markets truly are dead. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.